Like we mentioned, Louisville Metro and police leaders are saying they welcome this investigation at LMPD. Dennis Ting was there as the chief and the mayor talked about the attorney general's announcement, which came at 1.30 this afternoon. Dennis? Well, Doug, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher says he met with members from the Department of Justice earlier this morning. That's when they first learned about this investigation into LMPD. But while some may see this investigation into the department as a cause for concern, Fisher, LMPD Chief Erica Shields and other city leaders say that they are looking at this as an opportunity to create change within the department. The department was already the subject of an investigation by Hillard Heinz, which was rele which released its findings earlier this year, pointing out several areas of concern about LMPD. Metro leaders say this investigation will get more resources from the federal government, and its findings can also become guidelines used in other departments around the country. Know that you are the ultimate winners of this review, which will help us remove as quickly as possible any obstacles that stand in the way of Louisville becoming a more just and a more compassionate city, a city of equity and constitutional policing for all of our residents. One of the possible outcomes of this investigation, if they do determine that LMPD violated the Constitution, is a consent decree which could lead to independent oversight of the department. Chief Erica Shield says she hopes it doesn't come to that, which could be costly to the department, but she did acknowledge that a consent decree has worked in other departments, like in Baltimore, in driving change within the department. Fisher says the DOJ did not give him a timeline as to when this investigation may be concluded, but he has said that this similar investigations in other cities like Chicago and Baltimore have taken around 13 months. Of course, LMPD is a smaller department than those, so it still remains to be seen how long this will take. In Metro Hall, Dennis Ding, WHAS 11 News.